Hey folks, my name is Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite items that I got in 2017. Um, not all of these items are, not all the items you're going to see in this video are all the items that I got this year. It's just 12 of my favorite items. Um, I'm going to try and include a link to all the products down below. Um, and I'll go into a little bit more detail in that later. But not all of these are going to be, I'm going to be able to because some of them I have been able to find links to them uh, because some of these items I've gotten in Karen boxes, some of them I have not, some of them I purchased. Um, and I also do not have videos on all these products. Some of them I'm still testing out, some of them I just purchased to kind of help my life with camping um, a lot, e make that a lot easier. So let's start. Um, I'm going to try and work my way work my from the bottom and work my way up. Um, but nevertheless, all these products are great. Don't think of it as this is a horrible product and these are, and this is the best product. If I didn't like a product I purchased, it would not be in this video. So one of the products I want to start with is by Big Agnes. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, I thought I had a box right behind me. But it's basically their uh, girdle or something like that. But it's basically a compression strap system. And it's really, really useful. Um, essentially what you can do is attach it to items that don't have, that come in a bag. Um, like this one right here, which I'll go into a little more detail what it is. Get a little hint right there. Um, you could put it around a product like this or like one of my sleeping bags that I have that don't have a compression strap on it and use it to compress the product down. And I found that this came in useful with that. Um, I'm still really testing it out, but so far it's about 15 bucks and for what it is, it really has changed up my hiking game because I can pack a lot more into my bag, including my sleeping bags that don't have compression straps and I don't have to go out and buy a new compression system. This I can just throw on top. And it makes my life a lot easier. Um, the only issue I found with this is it can be a little tricky to get on because it isn't attached to it if the container is a little bit slippery. If this gets a little bit slippery, you have to kind of hold it on. So, the uh, Big Agnes girl. Um, one of the other things that a little bit with camp organization is by Segsack. Uh, I can't remember. I, I always mispronounce the uh, go. It's by go. It's by Gobi Gear. It's their Segsack. Um, now this isn't their normal Segsack. I got one last year, but I purchased two of a different model this year. So if you don't know what a sig sack is, if you haven't seen my previous ones, but it's a bag that has segments in it. And what I really do like this product for is it allows me to organize out my clothes, socks, underwear, uh, my thermals, shirt. I can organize them into various compartments into here, cinch it up, and I have my clothes organized. These are really good for travel organization. But there was one problem I had with my normal sag sack that I have. It doesn't compress. Well, Gobi Gear makes a compression version that comes with compression straps. I purchased a couple of these. I've brought them on a couple camping trips and honestly, they're really great. And the cool thing about these is it allows you to strap it over, it compresses down to a package about this big, but even then, once you're done, if you want to pack this away so you've emptied out all your clothes, it all packs into, and I love things that can pack into itself, it all packs down into a little compartment, all packs into the top. And even the top could be used as another little storage compartment if you so choose. But all packs neatly into here. I'm just being a little quick with it, just to keep the, try and keep the video short. I have a lot to go over. <laughs> um, nevertheless, um, it all stays in here. Sig sack. I've been using to keep my clothes pretty well organized in here, um, and it's helped me keep organized on my trips. 
I really do like having my clothes organized instead of having, and especially because it's vertical organization, I don't have to go digging for socks. I don't have to go digging for underwear when I'm out in the field. I really do not like having to dig for things in my clothes, in my clothes bags. Um, so it makes my life 10 times easier. Another thing that I, uh, another thing that I purchased this year, um, and I, I have only kind of used it a couple times and I plan on using it a lot more, is an ENO housefly. You've seen it once in a video. Um, actually, I've seen it twice in a video. I used this once and ended up not sleeping under it once, and then I used it and I sleep in it again. This thing is a beast, and it's my base camp hammock setup. Um, I really do like this. Um, it it really did keep the wind out, and I can't wait to be trying it some more before I can give you a really good review. Um, it is a little bit on the pricier side. Uh, there are probably some cheaper alternatives out there, but it is a good big hammock and has a lot of really good reviews out there. Uh, some people do like the War Bonnet um, brand, and I do plan on looking into them as well. Um, it's just I have sir, I needed this in a pinch, and as I said, money's been tight, so I have to buy gear sparingly and out a need a need to know basis. And when I find th and when I find things, so. Um, this has been a really good one for base camps. Um, and that's what I use it for. I use it for privacy and stuff like that when I'm hanging out with my friends because when we, I go camping with my friends, we tend to sleep in close quarters. And I like this so I have a place to change. I have a place to uh, sleep where I can, or as a tent, I have, you know, I have a place to change, I have a place to sleep, and I have a place to have a little bit of privacy. This gives me the same thing because with a normal tarp for hammocks, you really don't get, you aren't really afforded that same luxury. This gave me that luxury. And it also, if I set it up right, I have a lot more coverage in harsher weather. So this is a really good setup. Um, so another product I've kind of been, work, I've been using a lot. Um, I got it in a Karen box. It's Kraft Gloves. Um, I've, this is one I may not be able to link down below because I haven't been able to find the exact model of them. I'll try and link a similar model down below. They're running gloves. I got them in a carrier box. Um, they, on the, on the thumb and the finger, they allow you to work with your smartphone. They're really compact. Um, I use them a lot when I commute, but I also sometimes use them when I go hiking. Um, they're comfy. Uh, you see them sometimes in videos but um, they keep me warm, but they don't dry fast, um, so I, ha I have run into issues with that, but the grips on them allow me to grip things, so I tend to use these a lot, both when I'm hiking and actually in my day-to-day day -day, uh, life. Um, I use these a lot when I go in my commute, so these keep me warm. Uh, but these are uh, running gloves by Kraft. Um, I was trying to find them online so I could link you guys these uh, if you're looking for them. Um, but unfortunately, when you search craft, you get arts and crafts. Um, so another item I got in a Karen box, but it's ended up really changing up how I use things. Um, I don't really really changing up things, but has made my life a lot easier, is a belt. It's made by Arcade. It's a bungee belt. Well, it's an elastic belt. Uh, maximum size on this is 44. I am a size 44, this just fits me. So if you are above a 44 size waist, I just gave you my waist measurements, so congratulations on that. Um, this is a good belt. Um, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get onto, on and off of pants um, because of the wide belt portion here. But nevertheless, it is a really good solid belt. I've been using it uh, ever since I got it in the Karen box. I don't remember what month it is. If I can, if I, if I'm bothered to remember when or look up when, I'll probably put the date up somewhere up here. Um, and ever since then, it's become my main hiking belt. Uh, you, you've probably, if there's a waist shot of me in a video um, when I'm out in the woods, you've probably seen this belt. Um, it's gotten a lot of use. It's really comfortable um, and it keeps my pants on really well uh, because it, as it's elastic. So this has become my main hiking belt and I don't have to keep swapping around belts. Um, I mean, it's not leather, but whatever. 
Um, I've actually learned that leather belts aren't always the best because they fall apart. These are really well, and if I remember correctly, it's, I think it's like a $20 belt, so um, I could be wrong. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks, so it's not bad. It's actually a really good belt, so if you're skinnier than me, I'm not a small guy. <laughs> I'm tall and I'm a little bit wide. Um, so, a lot of cool designs, not just this one. They have a lot of different designs, so if you're looking for something that's a little out of the norm, they also have some other cool designs. They also have some other ones that aren't just clips because it, the main one, this one is a clip. So what you do is, if I can get, there we go, you clip it. Um, but they do have some other ones, but those ones are not as much cool designs as this one. But I've been, as I said, wearing this a lot. And it's not bad for the price. So if you're looking for a uh, belt, this is a good one, as I said. It's my favorite, it's one of my favorites I got this year. Um, another one was a Karen box one I got, which is um, one by 0.6. It is their hiking socks. Um, it's a wool merino light socks or medium. I think these are light or medium. I'll put as I said, I'll put information down below on these. Um, but they're height. They're like medium merino wool socks. I'm obsessed with wool. This is wool. None of this clothes is wool. These are cotton, but um, I tend to wear a lot of wool. These are really good. Um, they're comfy, they don't chafe when I hike, um, they don't dry out my feet. I tend, these are a little bit tight on me, but that, I, I'm a size 12 foot uh, shoe, give or take, depending on the, the shoe. So, um, here I am just giving everyone my, my measurements. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, about, I'm about a size 12, normally. And so, it's really tough with boxes because, give or take. These are a little bit tight on me, but nevertheless, they're very comfy on me. Um, and they, they stretch. I, I, I clean these right. Um, and I've used these in winter. I've used these in summer. These are very good, reliable socks. Um, and I use these a lot of times when I go hiking. Um, next, I want to talk about another one that I've purchased which is, and I'm sorry about the fast pace of this, I'm trying to keep this short, um, short, sweet, and to the point, um, because I know you guys uh, don't like super long videos. Um, so the next one is a, as I, as I kind of hinted at earlier, or I may have hinted at earlier, this is a ENO um, product. This is a Undercolt. Um, previously, you've probably seen a lot of my videos, if you look at my hammock setups, I've used a Snug Pack hammock uh, Undercolt. I've looked for that one online to link to people, but unfortunately I think they no longer have that one. Snug Pack no longer makes it or I can't find it anymore. This is um, their Ember 2. It goes down to about 50 degrees. Um, and it's actually, it's really comfy. Um, let me see if I can pull up part of it. I'll try, if I don't have many pictures of this because I'm kind of still testing it. Um, I used this in July and I was warm. So this is going to mainly be a summer one. I'm looking at getting some new ones, but um, so what it does is it has a setup. Um, I actually attached a bit of rope to it to kind of give me a little bit extra room. But basically, I, I normally hang this up with it out of the bag. I just left it in the bag to show you guys. But um, what it kind of does is it, it's like this wraps around the hammock. It's better than my snug pack when it comes to setup because I don't have to fiddle with a lot of ropes. This hooks onto my hooks onto my carabiner and actually hugs my hammock a lot better than my pre than than my snug pack one. Um, my snug pack one tends to slide to one side. This one hugged it and kept me warm pretty much all night. Um, in fact, I was sleeping outside of my uh, sleeping bag for most of the night that I was sleeping with than I, when I was using it. Um, that that trip I may be putting out a video at some point, uh, but there's a reason behind I've been putting out putting off that video. You'll know why when I when I do. Um, last four items. Yeah, four items are kind of best for last. Um, we'll go. La I'll kind of split up the two hammocks because two of them are hammocks. So. One of them, you guys have probably seen a, a couple of videos, you've probably seen a lot of my videos, my Sarah Hammock setup. I originally was, I was kind of skeptic of these straps, but now I'm really big on these straps. 
I do like the straps that they come with. Though I think the ones I got in Karen box are a little bit longer than the standard ones they come with. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't confirmed that. I'm thinking of buying a pair or trying to see if I can get my hands on a pair, a set of uh, standard ones because I'd like to compare, especially because I have a video on them. Um, and the Sarek Hammock. This has become my favorite setup because um, for 40 bucks, you really do get both of these. I got this in a Karen box, um, but it's a $40 deal. I'm not trying to sell these on you. I'm just kind of telling you why I like the products I, I got. Um, oh, there's one more product that's hiding beneath the pile and I completely forgot about it, so I get to split it up a little bit more. Um, the Sarah Hammocks, I really do like this. Um, and I also, as a creator, I use, I tend to point people when they're getting interested in setting up ha or getting a hiking hammock or a parachute hammock. This is the hammock I point people to. Um, not for camping. Um, mostly for hiking and day hiking uh, because it comes with both the straps and the hammock and it comes with everything you need for your hike. It comes with everything you need for the setup and that is why it's my it's my favorite hammock. Um, I would put this a little bit further down the list but then I realized there's one more item on the list. Um, it's been buried underneath there because it's a small item. Um, I really do like this. It goes out with me almost every time I go out camping. It's not going to be out a lot more coming up because, well, winter is coming. Uh, and I do not mean to make that meme, but it's a popular meme and I don't know, uh, I don't know Game of Thrones references, but I know that meme. So the Sarah Kamek setup is a, one of my favorites. Um, and I've, I've been recommending it as a beginner hammock uh, setup. Um, next one, the, the small one I was talking about, Fire Beaner, uh, is the Fire Beaner. Um, I've done a Gear Bites on this. Um, it's small, it's light, it comes with replaceable, um, it comes with replace, replaceable ferro rods. It is a really, really nice, um, really nice little fire starter. It's a nice backup fire starter. I got this in a Karen box. A lot of, as I said, a lot of the products I got were in Karen boxes, but this year is how I got a lot of my gear. It's where I put a lot of my money because I swear I get my series, but also because I have partially it paid through out through a certain point. So kind of like an investment. That series, if you're wondering, is not sponsored. It's all through me. Um, but the Fire Beaner, I really do like. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of field testing done with it, uh, mostly just because I haven't gotten out in the field to start fires. I've gone out in the field to do other things, but when I go out in the field, I don't tend to start fires a lot. Um, so I've shown it to my friends. They like it, um, and I plan on doing some more fun with this. Um, I want to try and see if I can get my hands on some other ones. As I said, if you if you read the car the um, the Gear Bites blog post. Uh, I made a slight joke saying if you want to send me one of these to do a weight test because this can hold 100 pounds. I was not 100% joking about that. I was not 100% joking about that. I was serious about it. If someone wanted to send me a, one of these to do a destruction test on, um, I was kind of serious about that. But this is a cool product. It's just, it's a, it's one of the few... Uh, carabiner setups that I actually do like that is also a mild, not really survival kit, but EDC kit because uh, I'm always skeptic about those kits. So it's one that I actually do like the concept of. Uh, but again, I'll give you a quick little close up look. And if you, and if you want, as I said, As I said, if, you're, if you want to see more, check out the Gear Bites. Um, it's a short video just showing it in use. So, three more products. Uh, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, trust me. Um, next one is, yeah, so I'll break up the hammocks a little bit more. Next one is a the Jet Boil system. 
Funny story behind this, how I bought this was um, I went into a little bit more detail, I wanted to kind of detail on this and the gear bites I did for this, but I'll t kind of retail the stole story pretty quickly here, which is I bought this at a REI garage sale. Cassie saw this and was like, Nate, is this good? Is, like, what do you think about this? I checked it, it was like 40 bucks for like the $70 setup. It's a Jetboil Zip, I wanna say. Yeah, it's a Jetboil Zip. I just realized it said it on the handle. I've had this for over six months. I'm an idiot. Um, now, I'm not just saying this as one item. Uh, this is, oh, well, this is, I'm counting this as one item, but this is not technically one item. This is the jet foil. The adapter ring that turns the burner into a, uh, I'm just kind of scrapped up the inside just a tiny bit, shit. Um, uh, the the adapter ring that turns the the burner into a um, essentially into a pot burner. Well, it burns pots and pans. Adapter. It can hold a fuel container. Also holds the burn. Well, this is part of it. it holds the burner and the stand. And all within that 500 milliliter, uh, all within that 500 milliliter container contains all the things you need. And I like it because when I need to go extremely light on kit on trips, this has allowed me to actually self contain all my equipment. And it boils all the water in. It boils 500 milliliters of water in two minutes. This has changed up how I boil water in the woods. Um, and it's worth the $70 that I didn't pay for it. I paid 40. Um, and the reason someone didn't, the person, the reason someone returned this was because they had trouble lighting it. How'd I fix that? I don't know why it's not with it. I think it was because, well, I think it was because it was not in my backpack. So I think she separated. I use a Bunsen burner lighter to light this. Plain and simple. Um, makes it easy. Last two items. My Grand Trunk um, hammock. Uh, Skeeter Beater Pro. Keeps the bugs off me. It's really long, really comfy. Um, bug nets on one side. I really do like this. It is very comfy. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, comes with lines on top that are really uh, keep it up. I'm working on trying to make a modification for this that allows me to keep the uh, bug net separated, but it is a, it's about a $60 hammock and it, it's pretty worth it for its price. One of my buddies, my buddy Shane, um, recommended this to me. I tried it. I like it. There's a, a cheaper one out there, the One Tigress one. It's a good one, but uh, the quality on this one is a lot better, but it's a lot more expensive. Yeah, and it's also a little bit more heavy. It's a heavy duty one, but I use it. This is my main hammock when I go camping, especially in the late spring into early fall when the bugs are out. Past that, I, I sleep in a actual, I sleep in, I could sleep in this one, but I sleep in like a, a double nest. So, good hammock, good quality hammock. You've probably seen in some of my videos. Uh, if you look at my hammock uh, playlist, you will see this a few times. It's a good hammock. Uh, last but not least, I can't actually show you the product because I'm using it. Uh, <laughs> it is actually my Canon T7i. I know it's not technically camping gear. Um, so I brought one of the representations of it. This is my favorite lens. This is my 75 to 300 milliliter, oh, milliliter, millimeter lens. This is the lens I use when I'm not filming. Now, I love this camera, and I don't just use it for filming, and that is why I counted it. I don't just use this for filming. I recently, um, I'm prepping for winter. I'm prepping so you guys have plenty of outdoor videos during the winter when I have trouble getting outside and getting you guys, well, when I have trouble filming outside during the winter when it snows and it's kind of unreliable and it's hard for me to get outside with camera equipment. 
Sometimes I can still get outside, but I can't get camera equipment outside. So I've been prepping. Well, there was one day I was out, and, and this is just a representation. I sometimes do this anyways. I was out, I was getting ready to film, and I stopped at a location, was getting ready, I was checking, and a flock of birds, or just a, a few birds, stopped by, and I went, cool, I like these types of birds. Checked it, and I snapped on this lens, and I took a picture of, Harry, a few a few pictures of, a few good pictures of a hairy woodpecker. Um, I don't remember the scientific name, so I'm not gonna even bother telling you, but I could put it up on the side the name, I could put it up on the screen. And I also took a couple of pictures of a a new bird that I didn't know about and now I do, which is called the brown creeper. Um we got a couple good pictures of that as well. Um so I don't just use this camera as a method of filming and showing you guys, but I also use it as a method of enjoyment. I use it as a way of kind of getting out and taking pictures and doing some nature photography, something I enjoy doing, and I use it sometimes like binoculars, so it is it is a bit of gear for me as well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, sometimes when I find pictures, when I take pictures that I really like, I will put, post them on Instagram. I don't always put them on YouTube because, well, YouTube doesn't have a way of me putting pictures onto, um, onto here. Um, even if I got the community tab, I'm not sure if I would post them on here because you guys, I, I don't know if I'd want to bug you guys. But if you follow me on Instagram, um, it's just the Otter Outdoorsman, I post them there. Um, I may link up my Instagram and my Twitter, even though I don't really go on Twitter that much. But I post pictures I like there. Um, but anyways, so those are the products I like. Uh, now, there's one, I will post a link to these items down there if any of these caught your inter your uh, eye. I do use an Amazon affiliate link. Um, I Whenever you see a product link with my stuff, I always do use an Amazon affiliate link. It does help support this channel. Uh, I am linking to a thing called, a website called Kit, especially with this, where I'm product when I'm linking to a bunch of products. I am trying out a website called kit.com which basically allows me to make different kits and kind of show you a bunch of different products at once. Um, in a case like this I can show you a bunch of them at once but at the same time then you can check out other kits that I've made. Um, I'm still in the process of putting together kits, it does take some time but from there you'll be able to see what I use for my hammock setups, all the different equipment I use for filming, um, also a beginner hammock setup that I've kind of put together. Uh, I'm setting up some other ones in there. So it's looking at things from there, it does help support the channel, even if, so take a look there. Um, but anyways, so if you, if you do see anything on here that you like, let me know. Um, if not, oh well. I will try and do, as I said, I'm going to be doing this every year, I'm going to be trying to do this every year so you guys get an idea of what type of products I like. Um, I did go through everything I like, what I, well, everything I got this year, and I pulled out my favorite items. Um, anyways, you guys have a good day, remember, get out in the woods, have some fun, I really have been. Um, see everyone.